It's March 2024 and Adobe Illustrator has just released version 28.3. And of course, there's all kinds of new features. It's Chico and I'm going to show you four of my favorite new features in Adobe Illustrator 28.3. Today I'm going to cover pin contextual taskbar, enclosed marquee selection, live star tool, and dimension measurements. All right, let's get to it. First thing is we have the contextual taskbar, which is newer to Illustrator and Photoshop. When you click on an object, you'll see the taskbar moves around, which is really great if you're using it specifically for a task at hand. But it can get in the way and be a little bit of a nuisance sometimes when you're working. So now you can simply pull the bar wherever you want, go here and pin the bar position. To follow your selection, simply go back and select reset bar position. And of course, you can hide the taskbar by going to hide bar. And if you want to get it again, go up to window and select contextual taskbar, and that will bring it back. One of the other new features I'm loving is the enclosed marquee tool. So if I wanted to select these three objects, my options would be to use the selection tool and I could click once and hold shift to select other objects. That could be a little tedious. I could use the lasso tool and make sure that I draw around all of these objects without touching any other object, and that will select everything. And if I go back to the selection tool, if I try to just do a marquee around these three objects, you can see that when I let go, the stars also select and so does this polygon. So when I click and drag, those objects that I don't want to select are still part of the marquee. And when I let go, it selects them. I don't want to select those other shapes. So what I can do is start to drag and hit the letter E once on my keyboard. You can see that next to my arrow, I have two little brackets now. Now when I release, this will only select the shapes that are entirely enclosed within my marquee. So that would be the circle, the center green star, and the square on the right side. The two top stars and the bottom polygon are outside of the bounds of the marquee. So when I let go, it will not select those three shapes. So you can see now I only have these three shapes that I want selected when using the enclosed marquee. Don't let that trick you up. Remember that as you're dragging, you only press the E key once and then it will activate that mode. You don't need to hold and press it as you're dragging. So that's how you use enclosed marquee. Another great feature that I love about the new version of Adobe Illustrator is the live star tool. So you can see now when I select a star, I have some little active functions on my bounding box. I can move it up and down to get more points. I can move my center radius in and out. I can move my outer radius in and out. And I can also control the curve of the corners of my star. So this is a live shape and I can continue to edit it. So the Live Star tool is completely editable and it's a great new feature to play with. And lastly, I want to introduce you to the Dimension tool. So let's say you're working on a packaging project and you need to send out dimensions to the printer. You can go over here to the Dimension tool and as you can see, I can click here and go to the edge I want to specify. I can hold Shift to make sure it's all the way across. I can click and drop it and it will give me the dimension. You can see in this little flyout menu, I have the dimension, I have a corner radius, so it will show me the degrees. I also have radial dimensions, so I can go over here and click here and then drag and drop. And now I see that I have a radius of 37 points. So you can see how this tool can be very handy, especially if you're trying to create specs for a project and it gets you your dimensions pretty quickly. I hope you've enjoyed learning more about these new features in Adobe Illustrator version 28.3. I'm Chico. Be sure to like and follow for more design tips.